Chapter 14, Part 3, Humanistic Therapy. The humanistic perspective in psychology emphasizes human potential, self-awareness, and freedom of choice. Carl Rogers and Client-Centered Therapy. Client-Centered Therapy, Person-Centered Therapy, was developed by humanistic psychologist Carl Rogers. Rogers deliberately used the word client rather than patient to avoid the implication that the person was sick. Rogers believed that the therapist should be non-directive and reflective. That is, the therapist should not direct the client, make decisions for the client, offer solutions or pass judgment on the client's thoughts or feelings. The client directs the focus of each session. Rogers believed that three qualities of the therapist are necessary. The first is genuineness. The therapist honestly and openly shares his or her thoughts and feelings with the client. The second quality is unconditional positive regard. The therapist must value, accept, and care for the client, whatever her problems or behavior. Rogers believed that people develop psychological problems largely because they have consistently experienced only conditional acceptance. The third quality is empathetic understanding. The therapist reflects the content and personal meaning of feelings being experienced by the client. The therapist listens actively for the personal meaning beneath the surface of what the client is saying. As a result of these therapeutic conditions, the client moves in the direction of self-actualization. The client-centered approach has led to a number of new techniques. Motivational interviewing, or MI, is designed to help clients overcome their mixed feelings or reluctance about committing to change. This concludes this part of Chapter 14.